Uh, I want to play a little bit more Monolith because if this game is getting a DLC soon, I want to practice. I want to practice the game so I can get better. And by getting better, I guess we'll do hard mode so that we can practice the fi true final boss. I want to practice, I want to get better, and then as we get better, then when the DLC comes out, we'll be able to actually hopefully defeat the new final bosses and all that good stuff, or the new bosses that actually come out with the Monolith DLC, which is going to be in December, I hear. I'm not that good at Monolith, which I would like to change. I would like to get better at this game, because this game is fantastic, and it's wonderful, and it is uh, a lot of fun, but it's extremely hard. And I feel like if if the DLC makes the game easier, I'll be very happy about that. Because <laughs> I I don't know what it is about this game. I, I cannot string together a victory for the life of me, pretty much. But we'll try. There's a lot that I need to remember in this game about how to play, how to strategize, and just how to freaking dodge. And also, what does this Skeleton do? Unfortunately, probably nothing. Uh, where is the secret room? I'm gonna guess that the secret room is gonna be on the side of one of these rooms. Hold up. I need to alt tab and make sure that my Mouse profile is set correctly. There we go. Now I can actually blink. I, why do why do the enemies get the ability to get go through portals and not worry about actually uh, <laughs> having to teleport through the portal? They can go through the portal and hit you. That seems a little silly. I can't do that. I'm the freaking player. Okay. Let's keep going. First upgrade, love it. Oh, I didn't blink in that room because my blank button was screwed. Increases hit points by one third. Crea creates a selection of powerful weapons or better drops. I'm gonna take fortune early. I think this is probably worth it. Could be wrong, but I think I'm right about that. I think early you're probably gonna want to, uh, you know, basically get the dog. Uh, that was such a bad dodge. I keep thinking that this is Enter the Gungeon. Th that's what it is. I play too much Enter the Gungeon, and in my brain I think to myself, oh, you have invincibility on your dodge roll. But that is not the case. You do not, you do not have, hello, invincibility on your dodge roll. Not at all. Eight hundred seventy-seven bucks, or yeah. I'm gonna get the max ammo up. 10% max ammo is probably worth it. Charge. I don't, I'm not really the biggest fan of charge. I would also like to have enough money for that damage upgrade, but I don't think we're gonna be able to. Buying the ammo basically, not not literally, but basically means that I'm not gonna have enough money to buy the uh, The damage, I think the damage is probably more important though. I think that's what I need to get my head around. I mean, the problem is they're both important. You wanna have enough ammo so you can use your best guns for a long time, but you also want to have enough uh, damage that you're killing enemies quickly, especially the harder enemies in the game. Die. Die, die, die. All right, the last enemy remaining is the enemy that w is supposed to drop the max HP up, but unfortunately, or not max HP, the max ammo up, but unfortunately I do not have any way of getting back up to full health. So I'm just gonna go here. Revolver, twin shooter, burst. Vulcan, homing, gatling. Homes on enemies weaker or a triple twin revolver. Seems pretty good. I could also recycle the gun and then heal up, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fight this guy. That seemed pretty good. I think we did a lot of damage very quickly there. Let's get the damage up. Fight whatever you are, Guardian.
feel like I fight this guy all the time. And I'm not that good against him. Oh my lord. I just took two hits of damage. That's not that good. It's okay, we got some ammo back. Uh, nothing that we want to buy. We're done with the floor. Get me out of here. Yeah, that was kind of not fantastic, but we're only down one HP. We can get one HP back pretty easily. Sup. I don't know what to do with this. Increase max ammo slightly. I like it. We also have our upgrade terminal basically immediately. Discount, Voltaic, electricity merely slows you down instead of hurting you. And blink, teleport when dashing. Dude, I I, I need it. I, I feel like I need this because I'm so bad at remembering that I don't have invincibility that having invincibility probably will be better for me. Ooh, a vault on the floor. I like that. Shop. Recover one HP. I think that's what I'm gonna just buy immediately. Runic homing chain lightning freezing. I don't even know if that's any good. Like, does freezing work against bosses? Does chain lightning, lightning work against bosses? Homing is pretty nice. It's expensive. It does have three modifiers, but not really what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna go back and... Um, I'm going to get that HP right before we fight the uh, enemy that is going to give us our like boss piece, boss door unlock, whatever you want to call it, whatever it actually is. I also need to be a lot better at actually using the uh, POWs that we get. This is what the game calls the blanks here. Not only for, you know, protection, but secret room access as well. Doubt there's gonna be one there. Okay, stop creating all those ghosts, please. We really like creating his ghosts there. Probably use a bomb here. And by bomb, I mean pow. Money! Free money! Okay, so that up above is gonna be the enemy that, if we kill him, drops either HP or ammo guaranteed and unlocks this. So you can actually fight the boss. So I would like, I think... Well, first of all, I'm gonna blank this because I think that's where the room is. But I think I would like to um, fight him and get full ammo, if at all possible. Increases maximum ammo. Good enough. 2 HP for a railgun, fast charge, freeze, back blast. Eh. Doesn't seem too amazing. Secret room is not adjacent to this, so we're gonna have to use the key to get in. Might as well. And now we don't have to spend any uh, any money on the HP. So by collecting a little bit of extra HP by overhealing, we got a part plus. And the part is this little yellow square next to our HP. If we get four of those, we get a max HP up. So it is worth possibly buying HP to get max HP. If we buy both of these for 3,200 gold, we can get 11 HP. Doesn't seem too worth it right now, especially when I can well, I mean, we could spend HP getting damage and then buy the HP back if we really want to. But let's go and, um... Let's go fight our boss here. Try to avoid taking damage if we can. Good. And, if we pick this up, we'll recover all ammo, or if we get rid of our gun, we'll get max ammo up. I don't really care about this gun, so I'm going to blank on the map screen to salvage our gun, then get 10% max ammo up, so we're at 175% max ammo, 105% damage, and then I'll just go down here. Yeah, 
I'll go down here, open up the, the weapon for the floor. Yo, -ho -ho. yes, laser charge faster phasing. That's incredible. And uh, with this, we'll get the 5% damage increase. I kind of really like this and we'll fight the last room. Okay, I did take damage because I didn't see that guy, but um, I really, really like phasing lasers. I think if you're good enough, you can... Uh, I guess you can't hit the enemy multiple times because it's not a piercing laser, it's a phasing laser, but thanks to it charging faster, it should deal a lot of damage. Also, I blink when I teleport, so it's a lot easier for me to dodge damage. So we took one hit, but we lived. Our phasing laser that goes through the boundaries of the level is really freaking awesome. And this is a weapon that I think that I can use for a long time. Maybe for the remainder of the game. I, I, I might replace it for a better laser, but Laser weapons are kind of my favorite weapons in the game. I think that they are just the best. I think they do the most damage and they're the most consistent. I will always want more max ammo. It needs a bomb in this, no, nope, I'm not gonna use a bomb in this room because it literally cannot be, the secret room cannot be left or right of this room because of the nature of the walls. Man, being able to shoot through walls is so good! I mean, I can kill these enemies before they even have a chance at hitting me. Okay, so if we go up, it's a mini boss. I would like to do the mini boss after we have found... Thought there might be a secret room up there. After we have found either the vault key and the vault room, or the secret room, or actually ideally both, because then we might be able to get some uh, max ammo up. Or at the very least we can get full ammo, I think. Hey Sharky Oreo, thank you for the resub for 10 months. Best guy. Yeah, no, best guy is you, Oreo. Thank you for the sub. I hope you're doing all right. And are excited and or have going to have a good uh, Good Thanksgiving. Oh, the piercing laser got me. With I tried to knock this icicle into them and the piercing laser shot the icicle down into me. Increases max HP by one, plus one time bomb, add two bombs. We'll add bombs later. Really want a little bit of HP before we fight one of these guys. But let's do it now. Because I thought there might be a chance that we could find a secret room. So we're gonna get back up to full HP. We'll keep exploring, looking for that key. Because we do need to find the key in order to access the vault, and then we'll go to the secret room. Remember, I gotta, I'm telling myself this, remember, you blink when you teleport. I still got hit by these guys. It, this is water, that's why it, I'm so slow, it's water. So now I have to buy HP before I fight them so I can get some ammo back. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Sorry, the the fish teleport? <laughs> this seems a little confusing, but I understand it, I think, to an extent. Yo, please, oh, he got me! These fucking fish. Max ammo up, at least we got max ammo up, but we are two HP down now. You think that on rooms with fish that jump out of water, I'd be able to handle them? Apparently not. Finally, we found our upgrade terminal. 
and see what we get. Auto bomb, negate damage while on more than two bombs. I guess it's called bombs, not POWs. Extra health and debris when replacing weapons. Ideally, we'll never salvage, or if we do, we'll salvage like once. And scanner reveals some rooms on the floor. Doesn't seem that important. Auto bomb at least means that we can buy bombs and then we'll have free bombs. So not free bombs, we'll have um, the ability to essentially negate damage if we take it. Oh, easy room. So can we get HP? No, but we can get bombs. Bombs! And we can get access to the secret room and the vault. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna do the secret room and the vault first because I would like to get full ammo from this guy and if these contain HP, we can get full ammo from this guy. So, that's the vault key. That's max ammo is not what I wanted. I think we're gonna buy all of this, then fight this guy. I, I hate it because we're gonna be a little bit low on ammo. Also, I should not have used my bomb there. I should have waited and auto-bombed because we're in more than two bombs. At least try to you know, make your dodge, and then if you fail, you have the backup. So, this is unfortunate. Armor attack. From what I remember, this guy's not too bad. Okay, got hit, but auto bombed. We got him! I'm just gonna use my bombs, you know? I need to not take damage here. We got 12 ammo. At least we get some ammo back after defeating this guy, but not a whole bunch. Okay, let's move on. I really need a full ammo drop, though. I could talk to this guy and get some ammo back, but I don't think that's necessary. Why are indie games so much better than AAA says ID Dev? I don't think that you can you can just say that so blatantly that you know, in indie indie games are better than AAA games. I think it all just depends on who's playing the game, you know. You like indie games. Therefore, you consider indie games to be better than AAA games just because AAA games are not making the types of games that you necessarily enjoy yourself, ID Dev. Also, Gein, sorry for not responding to your question earlier. The POW counter is underneath your ammo count, top left corner. We have two full bombs, one partial bomb. Your first two bombs uh, restock every few rooms. Uh, you can hold up to six. Right now we only have two and 45 ammo. And 43 ammo. We're not losing too much ammo. I, I, I'm gonna fight the mini boss right now and use both bombs because I need to get full ammo. Now we're gonna get full ammo. Oh, thank God. 169. Oh, it's been done. <laughs> so you can see now that we have like one and a half bombs in the top left corner. Now we have two bombs because they kind of recharged themselves. Railgun, homing, backblast, recover 2 HP, increase max HP by 1. 10 grand is a little expensive, we'll come back. Ah, ah! You apparently shot out little tiny enemies at me. I was not paying attention. Found the secret room, that's what I was kind of hoping for there. We could fight the mini boss right now. I don't think that's wise, because I would like to do it with either two bombs or full ammo. We don't need to worry about it right now. We can take our time. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<sighs> I suppose later on in the game, enemies start having more health, which is why that guy didn't die to one laser shot. Excuse me. Good room. Still have 10 HP. Oh god, I got really scared for a second. Even though this guy basically can't hit me. Wee. 125 ammos. Scary room. You know what? I would rather use bombs than take damage, and I gotta get out of the Gungeon mindset that you don't want to use bombs if you're not fighting a boss. It doesn't matter. You can use bombs on basic enemies. It's the best time to use a bomb. I did get hit, and I used a bomb. I wanted to use the bomb because it felt like this might be a secret room, but we've already found the secret room anyways, but I, I should have just used the bomb a split second earlier. We can recover one HP at the cost of one HP. I mean, we might as well recover two HP at the cost of one HP. Doing that would allow us to get back up. Oh, we can just do it here. We can, with cash. Gets us back up to full health and then we can fight those guys and get max ammo, which is ideal. The mini bosses, rather. I mean, what am I supposed to do? This is one of those situations where I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, those enemies are, are chasing you down quickly. You gotta, you gotta recognize that the frickin' orange portal is pointed straight up and you just start firing when those ghosts are coming at you. But, uh, yeah. That room sucked. This is like the inverse of the previous room that had portals and moving platforms. It's so weird. Okay, good upgrades, please. Good upgrades. Stealth. Enemies take longer to activate. Focus. More invincibility. Yes. I feel like I need that invincibility to live on my runs. This is also a very good room. A very easy room. More like this, please. So why am I not getting the HP right now? At the shop, you know, now or later, it doesn't really matter when we do it, as long as we do it before we fight the mini boss. So I'm kind of just of the opinion that we should just make sure we do it before we fight the mini boss. We'll be fine. I gotta remember that these guys that look like fat wrestlers or something. Actually very easy, if, if you don't shoot them. Because if you shoot them, they kind of explode into bullets. Alright, go to the shop, buy some HP. Back up to full health. Then we're going to fight the mini-boss. We're going to use both blanks. This is a good mini-boss for us to fight, by the way, because of the fact that our... Um, yeah. Our weapons are so good against him, because uh, we can target him in, the, in his vo most vulnerable spot. We do not have... The key, which means it's probably going to be in here. No, runic triple phasing align. Fires in threes, wraps through boundaries, moves with you. I really want to keep the laser. So I'm going to keep the laser, even though this is pretty good. Warps through boundaries means it goes through the level. Triple means it fires very quickly. Does a lot of damage in that case. But we have a fast firing laser, which I'm, I'm kind of liking right now. Let's keep the laser and, um, ah. Unfortunately, this is gonna cost me some ammo, but there's the key. I knew it was in there somewhere. Uh, let's, ah, let's just, ah. Let's do it after we fight the boss, because we might be able to get back up to full ammo. Now use your bombs. It's more important to use your bomb 
then take damage. I took damage. I didn't think I was gonna get hit though, so you gotta you gotta give that one to me. I'm also missing, I'm realizing. Whenever I see my, my laser shot go through the world, that means I'm missing. I need to fix my aim. I got hit. I should have just used my bombs. Oh, well, well, I had one bomb, but that's okay. We'll go down here, see what we got. Bombs and HP. Y you know what, to be perfectly fair, this is a perfectly acceptable fine time to get bombs and HP. We're going down to a floor at full health. That's not bad. I'm okay with that. Let's get back up to 10 hearts. And, um... Get the heck out of here. Full ammo, six bombs, and we have auto bombs, so the bombs will be used automatically if we ever need to use them. And all we need to do is live. Charge. 2200 gold to roll the dice. I don't care. I got a laser. I got a super laser! These enemies are strange. Um, when one of them takes damage, they all start firing at you, I believe. Very risky. Got him. There's the boss. There's three mini bosses that we have to kill before we can deal with this guy, though. This guy, those guys are annoying. They make blocks shoot bullets, which is weird. This is a boss. But, well, he was a boss earlier in the game. He's not a boss now. He's freaking dead. These guys are pretty cool. They, they use weapons that you can use. They're basically player ships. I'm gonna use a bomb. Yeah, I figured there's a secret room up there. I don't really want to go to the secret room right now because we're actually like perfectly fine. But we should do it at some point. That's expensive. There's healing that's expensive, there's damage up that's expensive, but if we can get a lot of money... Right, right, don't actually use the, um... The bombs manually. They auto-use. At least when you have more than four of them, so I should have just definitely let it auto-used. Mistake. Mistakes were made. The other thing that's interesting about the laser weapon that I'm using is that it technically has a, um... A, it, it reduces your ability to rotate. To aim, rather. You know, you are... Moving very slowly when you're actually firing the laser. It's kind of cool. Kind of interesting. Okay, remember, autobombs. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I thought I was so clever hiding behind the wall. Those guys shoot through walls. I'm gonna fight a mini boss. I'm gonna do this so I can get back up to full ammo. While I have the auto bombs, that seems like a good time to do it. 188 ammo gives us an opportunity as well to visit the secret room at full ammo. Giant burst ring shot. Fires in bursts, fires all razors at once. Nah. I think that razor triple burst is pretty decent. Razor giant burst ring shot. Ring shot is very good for ammo efficiency. It's very bad for DPS. Because if you ring shot fire all your razors at once, then your razors take a long time to come back to you before you can shoot them again. If you miss, you're not doing that much damage, and when you ring shot them, not all the, the the razors are gonna hit because they're all kind of rotating around each other. It's not a great weapon. Again, good for efficiency, not that good for DPS. The laser, I think, is gonna be better for DPS. Yeah, 
Increases max ammo by 20%, so in 250, 270. We have a ton of ammo up. I really wish that in this game, it was easier to get damage upgrades as opposed to ammo upgrades, because we definitely do not need this many. Ammo upgrades, that is. Okay. Well, it's a clear. Upgrade terminal. Let's do it now. Discount. Powerful weapons increases hit points. Give me powerful weapons. These weapons, there's four of them. They all have four modifiers. So runic, piercing, homing, chain lightning, freezing. Railgun, ricochet, homing, faster freeze. Bounces off of walls, homing, charge faster. That seems pretty good. Revolver, triple twin finale freeze. Triple twin seems very good, but revolver by itself, I, I don't love it. I think revolver has pretty not fantastic DPS output. And then fireball, split, triple freeze, back blast. Um, split, triple, probably. I mean, all those modifiers kind of make me think room clearing as opposed to boss killing. I might take the railgun, ricochet, homing, charge faster, freezing. Pretty decent modifiers. Um, let's let's go for it. Two hundred and three ammo. Lots of modifiers. I can also tap shoot it to fire it faster, because if you hold the button down, you kind of do a, 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 a proper aimed shot. But if you tap it, you'll, um, you'll fire the shot faster, but it's a charge faster, so we can just kind of hold down the button and, and actually, uh, actually get it firing pretty fast. But if, if we tap shoot it, we'll fire it faster and it'll home in any, anyways. And if it homes in, then we don't have to aim it at all. So I'm gonna go for the damage increase. We're gonna fight both mini bosses. We have four bombs, so we don't need a manually bomb. Let's see what happens. Ah, got him. Luckily, my shots kind of bounce around enough that they were able to get the job done. It actually charges very quickly. <sighs> I almost got shot. Treasure room has a gun in it. I don't really care about guns. Let's keep moving on. Makes it harder to shoot an enemy from the other side of a wall, but it's still possible to do. Fireball, revolver, no thank you. Overheat, area of, area of effect. We're done with the floor, we're going down to the next floor. Actually, we're fighting the boss now. <laughs> I'm scared. But we have auto bombs. The first two times we get hit are free. Ooh, I almost screwed that dodge up horribly. Okay, got hit. This is not very good DPS. Got hit again, now we have to manually bomb. Got hit, that's okay. All we gotta do is live through this. I will say, this is extremely slow. Then again, we're not on intense with the 150% damage upgrade, as opposed to 100% base damage, but it's still pretty darn slow. You want to be killing this this guy faster if you can. Prolonged invincibility. Got it again. It's okay. I think we'll make it through the fight. You know what I need to do? I need to dodge more. We have blink. I don't really know why I'm not blinking. Let's also make sure to use the bombs. There you go.
Got him. <clears throat> okay. Dee -dee 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 -dee. So now we have two choices left and right or up. Left and right are the same choice, which is leave. Up is continue. We're going to continue. Now, sup. If we talk to this guy, he gives us a one time bonus, but I don't think we have to talk to him right now. I think he'll stay there. Um, and actually we can access him in a, in a different room later, so I'm okay kind of leaving him for now, but we gotta move on. Right? I remember Brain. I remember Big Brain. He's a big brain! I'll admit, I don't remember how to deal with, uh, this room. Luckily, I've got the freaking teleport, man. Teleport man. Secret room. We'll access that when we're kind of desperate. Shit. I can shoot the eyeballs. Why did I think I couldn't shoot the eyeballs? Oh, there's just a lock. I should have really shot the eyeball first, huh? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna imagine that the uh, crown there made all those en that enemy re like really tough or something. Because he seemed very tough. Mini boss, mini boss. We found two mini bosses. Found the boss fight. There's three mini bosses to find. You wonder how much the DLC will be? I also wonder, but I'm probably gonna pick it up because this game is a lot of fun. Monolith is, a, is pretty good. Right? I forgot about that. I forgot that blocks can literally become enemies here. Okay. I think this is another room in which the blocks will literally become an enemy. But only one of them. I think these are mini bosses. I should have just bombed that. That was so dumb. I mean, we have an auto bomb now, but this is this is not what I'm looking for. I, there should be shops. So if I keep exploring, we should find one eventually. Gotta also remember that we do not have uh, piercing lasers. These bounce if they miss, that's it. Not as good as, as piercing, I don't think. Or phasing. Phasing is the, ones, the one that goes through walls. I got hit, but I auto-bombed at least. I, I kinda just got stuck on the wall, I think. More ammo, unnecessary. Another mini-boss on the left. I'm not worried about... <clears throat> I mean, I kind of am worried about the rooms, because the rooms have not been going that well. I'm just... I want to get my HP back. And my ammo. We got a lot of shit we're dealing with right now. Watch out for the lasers. Oh, we've done it. Didn't even... Didn't even use a bomb? I don't think we used a bomb. Uh, I'm going to go to the secret room immediately. It's a damage upgrade, I'm glad we did it. Why immediately? Uh, you know, maybe there's something in there we can use immediately. I mean, right now it's pretty good. Now, I do desperately need ammo, <laughs> which means I either need ammo the shots curve or I need a five HP. That's that's what it boils down to right now. Shit, dude. Games were hard, man. At least we have a treasure room. We can get like one replacement gun. This is a problem with not having 
full HP, is that because you can't get full ammo, you have to do the entire floor? Well, I mean, you probably don't have to do the entire floor, but you, you kind of just run out of ammo doing the floor. Which is what's happening. Max HP by one. That's Fortune finally giving me a max HP block. It took forever, but it finally happened. I'm, I'm just looking for a shop. There's gotta be shops. I'm almost positive there's gotta be shops. I remember shops. Please! Let me spend my money! For goods and services! Okay, you are really freaking annoying. You also don't... No, oh, he freaking summoned enemies! He also, um, didn't get frozen. You know what? It's probably on the other side of this room. Nope! Where is the freaking shops. It, there's no shops. There, there's no shops on the floor. I really thought there were shops. So we're gonna completely run out of ammo in one room. So you might as well recycle the gun and then get a new gun. So unfortunately we can't keep the laser gun. Vulcan Ricochet Burst Revolver Piercing Finale. Dude, I don't fucking know. Take this. Hope we can get lucky and just get some sort of a drop. Nope. Well, let's fight the boss. We have one bomb and five HP. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, we could have gone to Sup Man and gotten something from Sup Man, but Sup. The cat sends his regards. 15% ammo, 2 HP, some ammo. Sorry, 15% ammo, 15% damage, plus HP, plus ammo. Here we go. It's the Null Ship, which is not us. We are D13. Now let's see if I remember how to actually uh, fight this boss. It's been a while. Okay, that one hit me, like, right on target. Ugh. I feel very slow. This is one of those games where having a uh, speed upgrade might actually be a good thing. I forgot about that attack. Okay, well, he moved on. I don't think we're gonna live, I think we're gonna run out of HP. There's always a chance, but our, gu our gun is not good enough. Again, I made the same dodge last time too. Got shot in the exact same manner. Yep. Yep. He really likes firing that laser beam exactly where I am. Oh, I still, I had a bomb. I just didn't want to use it then. Well, there we go. Game's tough, but we made it a lot further than we did last time. 152 rooms ended by the monolith. Yup. Ah, oh, it's still good. I mean, what, what I could do, I could go to the shop and then just like disable all the guns that I don't use. <laughs> I guess I've already done that. Pulsar, Thunderhead, Swarmer Pack, Spear. I have the Railgun, I have the Runic Gun. Razor is pretty good. And then all of the, uh, all the base guns are still active, but you can't disable those. Heightened damage to mechanical foes. I should look up what the monolith is and then maybe try to get like disruption on a weapon or uh, Construct or something like that. If we can get something that the monolith or the overlord is weak to, then maybe we'll stand a better chance on those particular fights. Uh, for, first of all, we need to get the care package. It's a hundred grand. I'm gonna buy it. But also, I'm looking at the second wind, an upgrade that fully recovers health and ammo. This is 
what you get at the upgrade station where you you choose your upgrades like fortune or get a cache of powerful weapons or whatnot there's three options you get to take one per level second wind could be good but this does not appear on that last floor and if you don't want to take it this wastes one option it wastes one die roll you know if this appears and it's like oh i don't want this because i you know this is floor one i don't want to get full health and ammo when i have no start, no other gun and i'm at full health immediately it's a waste so i don't like having this enabled just for that purpose um tell me if i'm right tell me if i'm wrong the sword is a powerful melee weapon true also very dangerous and hard to use but maybe we'll actually turn that on because it is fun anyways the seal seems important, so... But, still, decent run, even though we failed. We'll have to try again next time and try to win the game once again, because I remember that we have won this game previously, and if we can win again, then maybe we can, you know, prepare for the DLC, which is coming on December 25th, I believe. That table, impressive. He likes my table of victories, having won the game, won on hard mode, and then I forget what those ones are. Also, I have a ghost in a jar. Ghostly Squeak. He's a ghost in a jar. That's all he is.